Leave Mike alone before you get your soul hurt. Wake up, but you really a piece of shit. Hey, you think I'm like, oh, that was a piece of, fuck you, that was a piece of shit. <laughs> you know, we're, we're doing, we're doing live TV. Hey, I don't care, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> All right, welcome back. Many of you probably know that Mike Tyson, the former heavyweight champion, is in town, and he met up with Mayor Rob Ford. Well, he joins us right now with his promoter, Alex. Thanks for joining us, both of you. I'll start with yourself. Uh, many are wondering, how did that happen, this meeting with, with the mayor? I have no idea. It's my fault again. <laughs> So no, at the end of the day, he is the mayor of the city. Mike Tyson is here to promote the first ever performance in Canada. And when I had Sugar Ray Leonard come to Montreal to launch the book, we went to the mayor's office. We're here, it's an habit. We go see the mayor. And this is the first time probably in the history of Toronto where the mayor is bigger than the whole, the whole city. Yeah, you know, he's a bigger celebrity than everybody in the city. Everybody wants to see the mayor. And um, he's a really um, dynamic character. Right, so did you, you read up on him? You sort of follow him? No, I didn't read up on him. I watched him on television. Right. In, in the know, States. In yeah. the States. And, you know, he's a, big, oh, he's a big hit in the States. A big hit. Now, well, some of your critics would say, you know, there's a race for mayor. We know you're a convicted rapist. This could hurt his campaign. How would you respond to that? Hey, um, I don't know who said that. You don't even know who said that. You know what I mean? And I don't have no comment to that. You know, because it's negative and you're being negative. And I, yeah. I, I, I'm this guy needs to be cool. Uh, Tyson, I hurt more than your feelings. The hell are you doing? <laughs> this guy, he has some balls. Uh, but you, uh, you're bringing up old shit. I met the mayor, right. and nothing they can do about it. We actually had a really good time. We we, we talked about George Chevallo, who's a legend in your city, great man, with whom Mike spent quite a bit of time yesterday talking about his life, highs and lows. So interesting, you come across like a nice guy, but you're really a piece of shit. Hey, with that comment. Come on, that's... Oh, that was a piece of fuck you. That was a piece of shit. You know, yeah, we're he's, doing, we're doing my TV. He gonna talk about some come on now. Ain't no come on now. You 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 started it. Now you got to deal with it. Yeah, uh, now you have to take. Yeah, you have to take it. Now you started it. Okay, what are you gonna do about it? All right, you gotta. You gotta <laughs> I ain't gonna, gonna do shit about, about it. Mike said, "What are you gonna do about it?" <laughs> yeah, I don't care. What are you gonna do about it? All right, you gotta. You gotta show that you're doing tonight. We are. You know, a lot of people. We are. We are. Right, this is raw, and it's the real thing. Yeah, a lot of the truth. truth. Be there to see your show. Just tell us a bit about it. Um, it's a, you know, it speaks for itself. Everyone saw the show. Right. It's a Broadway production. Making it for this business. We're going to be talking about the press. The United States, and we're really, really proud to bring it here. And we're actually going to Monaco on October 9th. We're going to be in Monte Carlo. Right. Is it nerve wracking for you to do something like this, or is it more nervous for you to box? How does it compare? I don't know. It's more nerve wracking for me here. It's talking to a rap piece of shit. Oh, come on, Mike. Like, no, this is a piece of shit. All right. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna wrap, wrap up the interview. Thank you for thank you for coming. Fuck you. <laughs> That's what you get. Uh, Francois both a six to one underdog. Are there any concerns in your part? I don't know anything about that. I don't know nothing about numbers. I just know what I can do. How about kill this mother? Mm. Okay. How about the nineteen months off? What that, about it? it? What about it? Does it pose any problem to you? We'll see. I doubt it seriously. You take into the ring a lot of rage. Does that work for you or does it work against you at times? No, who cares? We're in a fight anyway. What, what, the, what, what does it matter? Well, for example, rage against uh, Vander Holyfield worked against you. Well, f*** it. It's a fight. So whatever happens, happens. Mike, why do you have to talk like that? Well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. If you have a problem, turn off your station. You know what? I think we'll end the discussion right now. Then we could. You got it. Have a nice fight, Mike. F*** off. Oh, Mike wasn't in the mood. Wasn't in the mood. Yeah. <laughs> You know you're a real prick, though, right? What was that? You're a real prick. You're hitting your dog as a disgusting picture. Oh, no, but uh, if you don't want to comment on it, don't. I will comment on it, but you're a prick. No, no, I'm just trying to... We're trying to... If you don't want to comment on it, you don't have to. I have to comment on it, but you're a prick. I'm just saying, you know, continue. I'm just... I just... We're coming back here, right? You're unsensitive. You have no sensitivity to anything. I'm not... It doesn't affect me. I'm just saying, you have no sensitivity. You don't know how it does affect me. 
No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. It's just, it's just that your life is at the point I was making, Mike, and I'm going to ask you about it. All right, and I give you my opinion when I think about you. All right, well, your, your life has been shown on the cover of a magazine. That's something. Yeah, okay, that go you, ahead. Give me the next okay. one. Six years old, I'm 36. I never dreamed of living this long. I never dreamed of fornicating with as many beautiful women as I did. And that is my talk about fornicating with you. Let me, let me suck my dick because Hey! I'm I'm Mike. Like, okay, <laughs> You like kicking somebody in the head. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's like uh, Sopranos that time. Tony um, talking to uh, 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 Melfi. Uh, what's her name tomorrow? I feel like uh, smashing your face in. <laughs> oh, no. Then she was like, let's get back to smashing my face. Like, oh, come on. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Tony. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> 